my it god. Oh my god. But it wasn't a dream. <laughs> he lives. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. How are you? I'm really well. What are we going to talk about? I'm so excited to be alive. Uh, ready for this? Should we switch seats? All right then, yeah. You're the host, you get over there. All right. What, do you need? <laughs> what should I call it? A, tr a true sort of roundup? Yeah. Is it the truth? Is it the truth if it's recorded in a very sort of... In a way, yeah. If yeah, there was a word I would use to describe you on every level, it would be handheld. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do the truth? <clears throat> Hello, welcome to the truth. The truth is news if the news were true. I'm your host, Russell Brand. Subscribe here today. Our special guests are Alec Baldwin. Hello, Alec. Russell, so nice to see you. Sarcasm. There is Stacey. Hi. And here is Max Kaiser from oh. the Kaiser Report. In oh, fact, yeah. we're using their studio. I thought I'd take the opportunity of having uh, use free excellent pundits uh, to do a sort of news roundup of uh, the big issues of the day of the week. First of all, Ebola. It's the ISIS of viruses. We should be very scared. It's coming to the US and the UK. Uh, we were talking a, a little bit earlier about media hysteria. What do you make of the Ebola crisis? How is it functioning in the news? How is this narrative being used? What is the true news behind the Ebola crisis? Alec Baldwin, well, actor. Well, I think that... <laughs> For an actor. You're talking about undercutting my credentials. <laughs> Ebola. <laughs> yeah. He no, knows but, nothing about Ebola. No, but, but the thing is that you talk about health care, you talk about universal health care in the United States, and we would always say, uh, you know, diseases that are going to kill our children are incubating in homeless people right now. Meaning you don't just have health care for yourself and for your loved ones, you have health care on behalf of the general population for the very reason that we're discussing now with Ebola. Ebola is coming. Ebola is in the U.S. The Texas guy died. And you want to say to yourself, maybe it's time we go over to Africa with, you know, a couple of billion dollars and get it done. Really? really you know, so the uh, Ebola crisis exposes our individualism and our selfishness, both as nation and the way that we just think in terms of protecting ourselves and those nearest to us. But really, humanity is I got is my one. health care. I don't care about you. Maybe we need yes. everybody to have health care so we avoid these kinds of crises. That sounds like true news. What do you think about that, Max? Well, on the Ebola crisis, I'll say that the financial crisis was not a crisis. It was a fake crisis. Was it? The Ebola crisis is a real crisis. Mm -hmm. uh, but they won't have money for the Ebola crisis because they blew it all on the fake crisis <laughs> or the financial crisis. Oh, my God. Yes. We're genius. We spent money on a pretend crisis. Absolutely. A that was a pretend crisis. It was that? completely that? unnecessary. <laughs> it's Max. <Maxwell. laughs> In the financial crisis, the, you let the banks that have done poorly go out of business. Without capitalism, without banks going out because they're bad banks, is like having Catholicism without hell. Yeah, or p priests that are having sex with little boys. You have to have example. the bad actors have yes. to go out of business. You can't support uh, the capitalist losers. That's not capitalism That's anymore. That's not capitalism. They blew That's through socialism. trillions of dollars, and now there's a real crisis, Ebola, which of course <laughs> happens every every 50, 100 years. There's a real crisis. Is there any money for it now? No, they blew it. It's like a fairy story. When we, there was, a, we cried wolf. We spent all our money on a pretend crisis. Yes. Now there's an actual one, but we do, neither we don't have the spiritual apparatus of understanding that humanity is one entity, mm -hmm. and we don't have the financial no. resources because we right. squandered it on a pretend one. Stacey, is that all true? What's just the happened? The financial system, especially here in the city of London and New York is the Ebola of viruses. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what Stacey is alluding to there is that in the city of London, you've got ground zero and patient zero yes. for the uh, spread of both the financial crisis and this disease crisis, because they're rooted in the same problem. There's nobody at the top who's offering any kind of leadership. Mm. I see. Well, now, the, the leadership of the financial crimes starts in New York. That's where, like, the Al Capone guy is. London is like the thugs. These are the guys who execute the thugs. Oh, the thugs. For, th for New York. Yeah, the butler thugs. The butler thugs. The butler thugs. New York's the godfather. Yeah, yeah. They don't, their hands little... aren't ever involved. It's the, it's the Londoners who do the thugs. Oh dear, oh dear, we're going to require a few quid. Somebody's going to get a bunch of fives. It's more like that. We're yeah, doing yeah, that. We're also, the hard Let's end. also talk about something that, you know, the, 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 the real problem here. I mean, Ebola's been around for years, but because it was in Africa, you know, and not affecting white people, right. there was no right. drug now developed. Now suddenly the white people it's are getting Ebola. They're like, oh, there's a crisis suddenly. Right. Now there's been a crisis for years. Yeah. It just, just wasn't yeah. hitting people, yeah. white people yeah. in Texas. Yeah. White people crisis, white yeah. people right. crisis, real crisis. Yeah. Now, now, now that the guy who delivers ice to the country club that George Bush goes to died of Ebola, we need to get it's out of right It's a crisis. It's a crisis. Well, because by your point, you need a holistic approach to global health care because otherwise you will, in the end, it won't work because uh, we, we are understand. connected, That's a as, piece, you, as you say. This is a piece of true news that you have rendered. Now, what about ISIS? So, like, uh, is, there a, is there a continuum between the way that uh, the Ebola crisis is reported and the way that we report on ISIS? How is fear used in, in both instances and how, and I bet you two could expose how there's an, an economic conspiracy behind almost everything. Alec, you're an American. You must be dying to have a war even now as you're sat there. It's been 20 minutes of peace. You must, you must pick in this and 
resources around here somewhere I could be taking. What do you think of the, uh, the ISIS crisis, Alec? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes as Americans, we're so fatigued by war, we're so fatigued by, uh, you know, America, uh, we can't, we, we walk into a bar and we want to pick a fight with everybody. And now we're older, we're, 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 we're a little more flabby and out of shape, and we can't beat everybody in a fight anymore. America's, America is, uh, they got all the weaponry, they got all the money, but I don't think Americans have the will anymore to, to do that. And, 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 and sometimes, I'm not saying this is true, but sometimes you get a sense that every time you turn around, the military industrial complex is casting the next enemy. Once we're done yes. with that one, it's like the, all, all of a sudden, what is ISIS? You never hear about ISIS. Yeah, we're. You know, not a word about where's ISIS. Where's the Taliban? We're, 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 no, no, what not about Matt. But, but, but not Matt Taibbi or anybody who's really you know Matt out Taibbi, there in the world. The terrorist. <laughs> well, but what I'm saying, nobody, but nobody's out there. Reporters, whether it's uh, 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 what's his name, uh, um, Glenn Greenwald. Greenwald. And no reporters that you turn to for the truth. ISIS isn't even on the screen. That all of a sudden, as soon as Al Qaeda seems like you know we're going to leave Iraq, all of a sudden it's like, wait, not so fast. Turn around. Better come back here. We found these doesn't ISIS. This, doesn't <laughs> ISIS. Doesn't this fulfill <laughs> that Orwellian? Doesn't this guys. fulfill that Orwellian notion of the two minutes of hate? Yeah. You know, in, in the 1984, the, the, the community was given their daily two minutes of hate. So, uh, look, six months ago it was Al Qaeda. Now it's ISIS. Uh, tomorrow it'll be the chorus. The question, becomes, well, the question becomes are these people cast? Yes. I believe oh, they cast, are. Right. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know. Yeah. All I know is that in the United States, we are now. Who funds we, them? We, we, who <clears> funds <throat> them? The United, the United Kingdom. Who gives them the weapons? The United Kingdom and America. Who, you know, they're, they're talking about terrorist groups that they themselves. Fund and arm. Right. So, so who's who's the terrorist? Is it some nameless guy in the desert? We're the with, with, or, or is it David Cameron? Same. David Cameron, the funder, right. the guy who's arming them. I would say he's the terrorist. Does he used to do his equation? That's on Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> but, that's, but everybody in America now is becoming more and more prone. And I take that back, not everybody, but a growing number of people in America are becoming more prone to the idea that perhaps the U.S. or in some kind of cabal with allies like the U.K., we are the arsonist and the firemen at the same time. Hmm. Yeah, well, is that point becoming, because uh, let me ask you this, uh, is, is that point coming across here in the UK because the UK seems in a snow globe of denial called the BBC? Yes, that is, I, I think you're right. What, like, the, the, the issues that are affecting people is people aren't getting paid enough money for their work and they can't afford to live in houses anymore. Pretty fundamental Maslow pyramid, pyramid of need problems are kicking in. But how does the BBC get away with the propaganda that it does get away with? The, the way that Abraham the BBC, Maslow. I, I said, Abraham Maslow. I'm going I'm to just do some some clothes capture. Okay, uh, Alex, uh, uh, Trinity Alex Abraham, for uh, some Master. DVD extras that are happening live over here. I mean, how does your show, YouTube channel get 300,000 views? It, it was only possible if the BBC was an ineffectual snot. It, you may be, you may be right, Max. What, but what I think is happening, like if I think uh, the only way I can make sense of this stuff is to individualise it. Like the, I, I, sort of, I become uh, unhappy, disaffected, agitated, and angry with the way my domestic conditions are. Oh my God, this is so unfair! And then someone goes, "You're very lucky. No one's chopping your head off." I go, "All right, then I'll shut up. I'll shut up. At least I'm not getting my head chopped off." And I think that as long as there is an abiding narrative that we're being bombarded with, that's stimulating fear. And when we were t we were talking about Fox News before, that Fox is going to generate this furnace of fear, this relentless heat of terror being broadcast, there's no time to go, hang on a minute, what, what the fuck's going on with the distribution of wealth? Why are we not taxing the wealthy? Why are we not sharing our resources? Why are we not addressing climate change? No time for that, that's how I might come and chop your fucking nut off. That is true news, subscribe here, subscribe here, would you say subscribe here while going like that? Subscribe here. To leave you scared and confused Truths is like the news If the news was true I want some truths Let's have some truths